Food. I'm your host, Liz Corbett. We've been talking about breakfast treats, so to me, it's only natural that we chat about one of my favorite beverages, coffee. If you are a coffee drinker, maybe you'd like to try something new. So let's talk about some delicious options. Uh, many people go to the drive-thru in the morning. Um, I do once in a while as a treat. Actually, I go in because I like to fix it myself. Um, but you can fix some really yummy coffees at home easily. Um, and I want to show you a couple of options that you may not already do. Um, one of those is putting coffee into something that is called a French press. Uh, this is a beautiful way to fix your coffee um, because it doesn't, uh, the water isn't going through the grounds quickly. They're actually soaking in the grounds for four minutes. That's how I do it. Everybody, there's kind of a debate on what's the perfect amount of time. But I have in here four scoops, because I like it strong, four scoops of really um, dark roast coffee, like a French roast or an Italian roast. And then I'm putting in boiling, boiling hot water right up to here. This little plunger, which this is the part that has your, your sieve or your filter type device, it's just gonna sit on top here, and then I literally set a timer for four minutes. I also wrap it up, especially if it's in the winter and it's chilly, I wrap it up in a little towel. You can also get the real cute little covers that go on these, which I want, by the way, P.S. Um, and you let it hang out for four minutes. When those four minutes are up, then you're gonna very slowly press on the plunger, and it's gonna push the grounds all the way down to the bottom. The slower the better. You gotta be patient when you're waiting for this coffee. I do this first thing so that I have plenty of time to drink it. All right, so that's all the way down to the bottom. And then the little um, plunger in there is gonna be like a filter and it's gonna keep your grounds out of your coffee. This is like the best moment ever in the morning, that first little pour. I don't know if you see the steam. All right, and I have this in my special glass, and I want the camera to get a close-up of this because I personally think this is hilarious. This is my motto when I'm having that first cup of coffee in the morning. Can you see that? These are instructions for my darling husband <laughs> or anyone else if they're at my house early in the morning, okay? And I made this myself, so if you want to find out why, contact, contact me on my website and I can show you how. So the French press is one lovely way to do your coffee. Another one is espresso. Now maybe you've only gone to um, a cafe or a bistro to get your espresso coffee. You can find these adorable little espresso makers. This one is really teeny. And I'll just give you a real quick show and tell on how that goes. The bottom screws off, and it's got this itty bitty little filter, which is not going to come out. Here we go. All right. See how cute that is? All right. Grounds go in there. That goes in. Water goes in here. Screws on top. And your water's in the bottom, and you can't have it above the little steamy thing there. Basically, the steam forces it up and out and into your coffee pot. Strong, strong coffee, but my theory is if it's really good quality coffee, then it's okay to drink it really strong and with nothing else in it. And I have some really random but fun facts for you about coffee, and I want to share them. And I'm actually just going to tell you what they are because I think they're perfect. When we talked about the dark roast, I don't know if you know, but a light roast actually has more caffeine than a dark roast. Uh, the other thing that I think we should um, think about adopting for um, couples is that Turkish husbands were once required to uh, be able to provide their wives with coffee always. That was one of the requirements for when they were going to uh, get married. So I think that's something that we might want to look into. That would be important for me. Uh, also, a lethal dose of coffee, I'm just throwing these at you, a lethal dose of cups of coffee is a, roughly about 100 cups. And that's something that you don't want to do. Either way, it's delicious, it's wonderful, it's good with breakfast. Um, all of these treats you saw today were really easy. And um, I hope you're gonna try um, some of these new breakfast treats. It's not really so hard and you and your family can enjoy adding these to your morning or any time of day. I'm gonna be adding more gluten-free recipes to other shows and I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you try the new coffee drink and I'm really excited about adding espresso to my morning at home. For your tea drinkers, I won't forget you. We'll feature that on one of my future episodes. For today's recipes or to connect with me, go to playingwithfood.tv. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Playing With Food.